Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to do a haul today. I made a stop by Hobby Lobby for something in particular, and I'll show you that in a moment. But I also wanted to pick up this paper pad that I saw uh, Rosa Kelly scrapbooking use. I'll try to remember to link her uh, channel below. But she used this paper in a junk journal. I believe it was a junk journal that she was making and I thought it was a really nice paper to use for a junk journal and I know it's probably not the planner community cup of tea but this is something that I'm using for a craft project but I wanted to share it here since I picked it up and again this was inspired by Rosa Kelly I love watching her videos and she makes mini albums and she's starting to do junk journals so yeah I decided to grab this paper when I saw it at Hobby Lobby and their papers were 50% off so this is what it looks like and I'm also working on my own version of a junk journal which is here so I think this paper will work as pages and covers for my inserts. I'm using this like kind of a traveler's notebook junk journal. So it will have at least four notebooks on the inside. And then it has little pockets here that you can add things to as well. So I'm still working on it. So, but anyway, that's what I bought this paper for to finish this up. Okay. Then. I just happened to see these ribbons on clearance for $1.25 each. And I chose the, the colors that I liked the most. They had a few other colors. And what's also good about these is that they have a wooden spool on the inside. So that's wooden. So you're kind of getting a two for one thing because you can do something with that spool as well. I also picked up the black and the canvas version. And these were all $1.25. And let's see. They're regularly $4.99. Can't see how much is on here. Three feet. So regular $4.99, three feet of ribbon. Then last from Hobby Lobby, I picked up this ribbon, the girl ribbon, that we've all seen the washi tape of. Thanks to Priscilla who told me about this. Hi Priscilla. Um, thanks for telling me about this. I obviously was able to find it. And yeah. I went and picked that up. I'm trying to find the washi roll. So it's the same washi as this washi from Hobby Lobby. And I did see some other ribbon at Hobby Lobby that I want. But... You know, you can only use one 40% off coupon. Everything else was on sale or clearance, so I used my coupon on this. So hopefully they'll have ribbon on sale again soon, and I'll go back and pick up the other items that I wanted that were on, that were ribbon. They had some really pretty floral ribbons that I would like to get. And then I went to Michael's to use my 5 off 25 coupon. And my regular coupon, they did let me stack the two. So I've, I've been eyeballing this and I finally went ahead and just picked it up because I have limited space on my desk and I had made this, uh, it's kind of messy, but I made this tray, I guess. I never finished putting a background in it just to test it out to see how I would like it um, at the time. I couldn't find the right base for it but it just takes up too much room on the desk can you see that I mean I could use a smaller tray I actually finally did find it but it will still take up extra room on my desk and so I really didn't like this that much and it also really doesn't hold the glue gun the way I want it to I mean it still flops over I don't like that um, so I'm hoping this will work out for me better. I have a little area off to the side. This is silicone, so it's heat resistant. And 
I don't really care about where I can stick the glue sticks. My concern is being able to place my hot glue gun easily. So I don't know how this is going to work because of the way my handle is on the hair. I don't know, but I'm going to try it and see. Hopefully it will work out. Also from Michaels, they had the washi tape and whatever else was in this little if this little area. I don't, I don't remember. It's like papers and flowers. I think everything was 40 or 50 percent off. So I wanted this washi tape. I'd been eyeballing it, and so I got it since it was on sale. And it's just the shoes, lipstick, lips, shades, just cute girly washi tape. All of the storage is on sale also and I picked up a few of these previously and I picked up four more of them. These I'm using to store my die cuts and other small embellishments so that I don't have stuff all over the place which is what's going on right now. Um, they're regular $1.99 and I think I got them for 50% off. I also picked up these inks. I have plenty of inks but I don't have light color pastel inks so for I think these are two dollars each I wanted to try them and see how they work I probably need to swatch all of my inks actually so I got those two and then lastly from this Michaels trip I picked up myself a pop socket I got everybody else a pop socket. I even have one for my mom. So I finally got one for myself since I got a new phone case and my phone doesn't look so horrible anymore. So I picked that up. So Joanne is putting out their new paper crafting stuff and they have new paper pads out. I have a whole list of the pads that I would like to get because I watch Cherished Treasures videos and she always shows what's new in stores like Tuesday Morning, Joanne, Michaels, Dollar Tree. So I watch her videos and I sit there and make a list of things that I want and these were a few of the things that were on my list. I got three for now. These were the main ones that I wanted. Let's see, I should have already opened these. But this, these are all die cuts with a view. And they are double sided. I think all of them are double sided. And this one is tags. So they're already perforated. So you can just pop out the pieces from the paper so it's already done for you let me stick this here hopefully it won't get lost so you get two pages and again they are double sided so this is what you get the pages are very delicate it's easy to okay now these are cut aparts I think this is what I saw. So you get the cut aparts to this page is really nice. Okay, so this is tags again. You only get one page of that. Yep, only one page of the foiled. This page is a repeat. I'm just using this from, I think it's a watercolor, watercolor stack. So, yeah, this page is a total repeat. Um, these are cut apart. They're not perforated. I like these, this color scheme. This is good for fall. And we're back to tags again. Tags. 
these are cut apart so it's kind of back and forth back and forth these are cut apart these are really pretty I need these for a project that I'm working on now for someone these are cut apart these are nice nice and simple more cut apart I think these tags are like a combination of the designs are a combination of the themes from the papers that they have out maybe I haven't looked at enough of the papers to know for sure but because of that watercolor sheet I'm thinking that that may be the case but anyway that's the tag stack then this one is called girls rule and again this is double sided paper so I'm just going to assume you get two sheets of each so you get the XO's this is like a peach white and gold pink on the back pineapples with the blue background black and white stripes this is red floral with a text script um, mint green this is the page that I think I sold me on this one with the girls in the tiny squares and then just a blue polka dot on the back it's a diamond pattern with the white and black and white pattern Ooh, look at that red it's kind of very striking pink and gold this mustardy yellow color floral on a black background these two go together well and there's more mustard yellow mint green peachy gold foil pineapples pink stripes pink and white script black dots do I need to describe all of this probably not <laughs> you get the idea this is a great page too this this collection of the, these pages doesn't seem very cohesive to me they don't seem like they go together but it does have some really striking colors in here like these reds would be good for Christmas I mean they're not a they're not a true red but they are considered red here's another floral ooh black and white stripe ooh that looks good together the red and the black and white looks really nice together so I'm not sure about these colors but it has a lot of pink so there's that one and then this last one I had to get my vintage look in I'm working on two vintage albums now that I think I will just be putting in my shop when I finish these will be my first ones that I actually put out to sell that aren't just going to friends and family but I'll come back and show uh, a project share for those okay so vintage memories 10 sheets with treatment I don't know what treatment is probably foil so here we go Just music sheets script collage page with ledger paper on the back this looks like dictionary or newspaper that would be interesting to read and this is a gold foil 
distressed edges. Gold polka dots. It's postcards written. So it's a lot of collage. A lot of text, which I like. It's music. This is like a wallpaper. So that is it for Vintage Memories. So that's all the paper pads that I picked up from Joanne. Then I did a run to Dollar Tree. Picked up a few things that I've seen in other haul videos. I got this set, these sets of three pens. They're just fashion pens. They have, I got two boxes, two of the different styles that they had. So this is what they look like. Then you get three ballpoint black ink. So I picked those up. And I got these rope. I don't have anything specific in mind for these as of yet. I got three of them. And they're 13 feet each. But I just figured I would get them and have them in my stash for whatever purpose I decide to use them for later because they were only a dollar and no one has mentioned this but they have a really strong chemical odor so you might want to leave these outside before bringing them in to air out I don't know what that smell is it kind of made me leery of getting them but it is really really strong and I've had these for a while now and they still smell really strong so I'm gonna put them back in the bag <laughs> and they will be sitting on the porch for a while also from Dollar Tree I'm sure you've seen these hauled all over the internet but I did find the ceramic and gold macaroons oops and all the colors available so I got all of them and I bought two whole sets because one set I will be doing a giveaway in my Facebook group and then hopefully I can ship them without them breaking but yeah I have so if you're not in the Facebook group you should go over there and join it's scrap craftastic just search Scrap Craftastic on, for the Facebook groups. I do sell something similar in Hobby Lobby. Um, I took some video of the ones that were in Hobby Lobby. But these are not as well made. So there are, on the, especially in the metal areas on the backs, there may be some metal pieces sticking out. So you need to be really careful and check them over. I'll try to check them over before I send them in the giveaway. But these are also larger than the ones at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think Hobby Lobby has more colors. And they're just little trinket boxes. So I got one of each color that they had available so got those on my trip to Hobby Lobby I found something else on clearance they're just these um, floral hairpins for 75 cents and these will be going in a junk journal mini album that I'm working on and I also got more ribbon I saw these ribbon when I bought the girl ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I said as soon as their ribbon goes on sale again that I will go back and get these so these were 50% off and yeah I can use these to try and make bows I'm still bow challenged but I'm gonna still keep trying to make them <laughs> and I think I could also make some really cute planner clips with those 
And the main reason I went to Hobby Lobby was to get the girl washi. This is a $20 tube of washi. Of course, I use a coupon, but if it came down to it, I think this washi is worth the whole $20. It really is. It's a 15 piece tube. Five foiled, five yards, ten non foil. And then it goes into the sizes for, for a total of 125 yards. Then last but not least, I placed an order on Amazon for a clear A5 planner. And here it is. I've already been playing with this. I've already put in my inserts in. I've got my pencil case in. I want to do a big shaker for the front. and But this is what it looks like. It has small rings. The rings are not that big. But this is a full year of week, weekly inserts, the full year, and some extra inserts in the front, some daily inserts that I have available on my website. Let me show you those. So all of that fits in here. And yeah, I haven't really decorated. I just kind of put some things in there that I already had. But it is a clear A5 planner cover. So that is all that I got. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you later. Bye.